What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we are going full Ola fanboy by checking out the Randall Satan 120 with this Solar guitar. Let's do it! Alright, hope you guys are doing great out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Kyle. What I do is I take awesome high gain amplifiers, guitars, overdrive, speakers, cabinets. I record them with a simple SM57 setup and I give you the unprocessed audio on your end. So if you're into E-standard thrash riffs, drop C hardcore riffs, and dudes that should really be practicing guitar instead of making YouTube videos, you're in the right place. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing on the way out so you don't miss anything else. Thanks! So today, we are taking a look at the Randall Satan 120 amplifier. This is the Ola England signature amp from Randall Amplification. This head has been discontinued for quite some time. It is one that I always really wanted to get my hands on because I've always been a fan of Ola's channel to be 100% honest. I've always found him not only helpful but extremely entertaining. He was kind of the first guy to do what I am trying to do essentially at this point, which is document every high gain amp in a playthrough demo that I possibly can. So anytime I would go online and I would type in the name of some rare or hard to find high gain amplifier, his name was usually the first one to pop up. So really for the last 10 years, I've been a huge Ola England fan. I still watch a lot of his videos now. And I think it's really awesome that a guy like that gets to have his own signature gear. A lot of people like to uh, kind of shit on YouTubers for basically just being personalities and, and whatnot. But maybe I'm biased because I now myself am a YouTuber, but I don't really see it that way. I really think that people like him and Fluff and a lot of the other guys have provided so much useful content for people like myself over the years trying to decide on gear and stuff. And I think that we're really lucky to have people like them who paved the way for people like myself to do this. I'm gonna stop kissing everyone's ass for the moment and we're gonna talk about this amp a little bit. Full disclosure, this amplifier has had the transformers changed for Mercury Magnetics transformers. So I will get another one of these amps at one point that is completely stock and I will do another demo on it. But I just wanted you guys to know this one, for whatever reason, the previous owner had Mercury Magnetic Transformers installed in it. So it is not 100% stock. I believe that those are the only modifications that have been done to it to this point. So everything else for all intents and purposes should be the same. But as you guys know, Transformers, depending on the amp and the power section can be a big part of the tone. So hopefully what I have here is close enough to stock that it's a good representation of the amp. So we are driving this amp through my Mezza Barba 4x12 cabinet. This has UK Celestian Vintage 30s and Redbacks in it. I have an SM57 on the V30 speaker where the cone meets the cap. In that intro clip, I had this Poison Noises NARC overdrive on. So we're going to turn that off and kind of play with the amp with no overdrives in the circuit for a little bit. I have my Solar A2.6 LN. Yes, haha. <laughs> A2.6 LN with the stock Duncan Design Solar pickups. And then over here, I also have an LTD Arctic Metal Phoenix with a Fishman Fluence Classic pickup in the bridge. So we'll test an active pickup out on this amp as well. There are a lot of controls on the front of this amp, but basically everything in this spot here is for channel two, which we're not really gonna use because we're belligerent amateurs and we don't really care about clean and early breakup tones, which is what this channel does. So we've got a presence of depth of master. You've got your standard EQ controls here. You've got a sweep knob, which kind of changes the shape or the, uh, the sweep of the mids. And then you've also got a gain knob, which is standard. But here, what really kind of sets this amp apart, the girth and the grind really kind of help you shape the structure of the gain. And they're kind of like separate EQ controls in themselves, where the girth adds some lows and low mids and thickness. The grind adds some upper mids and some cut to the signal. So we're gonna kind of play around with all that. I'm gonna put those back to noon. I'm gonna drop the gain down a little bit. We'll put the sweep at noon. And uh, we're just gonna start feeling this thing out, seeing what type of tones we can get. 
So here's with all the controls at noon and the gain at nine o'clock. All right, so it's already got a decent amount of gain on tap like that. I also forgot to mention there is a kill switch right here. And no, it doesn't kill your signal. It's basically like a built-in boost with a really cool name. So here is the amp with the kill switch off. Here's the amp with the kill switch engaged. Now, attached to that kill switch, you also have a gain pot here. And you can kind of fine tune how much you want it to add to the signal. So overall, it doesn't make a crazy difference. It definitely doesn't cut the lows. It doesn't seem to add too much high or high mid frequency to the signal. It's just a nice little built in. It's a foot switchable overdrive. Therefore, you don't need to have an external pedal if you want to drive the amp a little bit more. So that's that. We're going to leave that off for a little bit. We're going to bump the gain up on the amp. All right, so uh, it's getting pretty fat. Once you turn the gain up, it definitely starts to add some fullness to the tone. So we're gonna go ahead and add some grind from this knob here and try to uh, get a little bit more presence in the tone overall. All right, so bumping that up definitely kind of helps add some upper mid presence that the amp kind of needs without a boost. We're gonna turn the girth down. It looks like it says birth. So we'll turn the birth down and try to get a little bit more tight tone since we don't have an overdrive out front to tighten things up and see if we can kind of make this thing uh, be really thrashy and punchy with no overdrives in front. <laughs> I did forget to put the depth and the presence back to noon, so I'm gonna roll the depth back real quick because I'm a dummy. Honestly, that does get pretty tight with no boost out in front. Let's actually add the gain, a little bit more gain so we can get a little more saturation. So yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. It's uh, one thing I've noticed about this amp that until you get it really loud, which I'm pretty loud here in the room, but until you get it really loud, it does have a little bit of buzziness to the saturation of the amp. I had the Satan 50 for quite a while and I don't remember it having that same kind of buzziness. I also have a Thrasher 50, which I believe is, is somewhat close to the Satan. Uh, so we'll do a demo on that and see if it's there, but I don't remember it sounding this buzzy. It sounds like it's got almost like clipping diodes or something in the circuit that they give it a little bit of a top end buzz when you're playing it. So, and that's even with the gain lower. There's just a little bit of top end sizzliness there. So I'm going to add some mids, add a little bit of treble. That actually makes it way too bright. We're gonna pull that treble back a little bit. All right, so now we're getting a little bit more of a cutting tone going. I'm kind of liking that. I'm gonna add a little bit more mids and then we're gonna kick in the kill switch. Let's put the gain at noon on that.
Definitely a really modern tone for sure. Uh, the kill switch definitely adds some compression and it, it tightens the lows up, it takes some of the lows out, but I'm just not loving the overall tone that it's adding to the amp. So let's add a little bit more bass. Let's get a little bit more gain. And let's try bumping the sweep back to the, uh, I guess if you're staring at it straight on, it would be the left hand side. All right, so if you're turning it over to your right hand side, if you're staring at the amp directly, it kind of adds just some mids overall. It makes the amp a lot punchier, a lot more full in the lows, but it also kind of makes it sound like a little bit more bloated almost. Like there's some low mid frequencies that kind of need to be uh, taken out of there. Let's turn the girth down. All right, let's turn it back up a little bit. Yeah, the girth really adds a lot of low mids to that. It makes it, gives it kind of this like guttural type tone to it. Let's pull the grind back. You guys know what kind of tones I go for. I like things bright and tight. So having the grind up and the girth back definitely suits my personal style a little bit more. Let's pull that sweep back. So pulling the sweep back definitely removes a lot of the mids. It removes some of the punchy or low mid frequencies. I like the tonality of it over here more, but it kind of seems to take a lot of the body out of the tone. So it's kind of like a trade-off. Um, over here, it's boxier and, and more bloated and not as brutal sounding, but you get a lot more low end punch. If you have it turned all the way to the left, it sounds uh, more modern and kind of meaner but it takes away some of those uh, the lower frequencies that you're probably gonna want if you want a percussive low end like I like. All right, so that sounds pretty good overall though. We've got the presence over here. I'm gonna turn that depth up a little bit. All right, so I'm liking that quite a bit. What I wanna do though is I want to engage the NARC overdrive again here and pull the gain back just a tad and see how that sounds. So immediately I'm liking that a little bit better. It tightens up the low end. It adds some upper mid presence that I like. Uh, let's pull the gain back just a little bit more because that is really saturated. Sounds pretty good to my ears. I'm definitely digging how that sounds. It's more modern than I would typically use for my Bushido code tones. All right, guys, I have my LTD Phoenix here. As I said, this guitar has the Fishman Fluence Classic in it. It's actually lower output, it seems, than the um, Solar is. So I'm actually not gonna plug into that active input immediately. We'll play around with a couple riffs on this guitar and then we will call it a day. All right, so this guitar is immediately much brighter. We're gonna turn that treble down and we're gonna get some more gain on this thing.
For my money, man, you guys know that I like uh, kind of a little bit more classic inspired thrash tones. A more PAF style pickup definitely works better on this amp than a higher output pickup. For my personal taste, it opens the amp up a little bit. There's a little bit more range of frequencies kind of being pushed through the amp and overall I just like it better. Let's switch over to the active input and see if that makes a difference. I'm guessing it's just padded by like 15 decibels or something like that. I really don't feel like that's necessary with the Fishman Classic because they're not all that high output. I'm digging that a lot more, guys. Now I'm really liking this amp. That sounds pretty damn mean to me. That's with no boost in front. Let's kick that boost on. Let's turn the gain back. All right, so I'm actually gonna turn the girth up because we are missing some low mids from this uh, part of the amp. I think this amp sounds great with this guitar. This thing sounds really, really good. Last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a drop tune guitar, play a couple riffs, and we're gonna call it a day, but yeah, this has been the Randall Satan 120. I think it sounds pretty good. So it's very low mid heavy in my opinion. We're gonna turn the sweep back like this. We're gonna turn that grind up, girth down. I still have the NARC uh, overdrive engaged and we're gonna turn the mids up. Very, very low mid snarly uh, set like that. It's got a lot of just kind of like guttural, real throaty low mids and it's pretty percussive, honestly. It, I could use a little bit more clarity out of it in my opinion. I'm gonna bump the gain and the grind up just a little bit. <laughs> All right, final riff on this thing and we're calling it a day.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for me on the Randall Satan 120. What did you guys think about it on your end? What did you hear that I did not describe to you here in the room? I'm really curious to see what you guys think of this amp. It's been one I've wanted to try out for a really long time, and uh, I actually sold it, and the guy's coming to pick it up in about 15 minutes. So I had to make this video real quick and get it out to you guys. I think it's a very modern, very brutal sounding amp. For my personal taste, you guys know I like my tones a little bit more classic as far as the high gain stuff like modded Marshalls, Mark series, boogies, PV5150s. But this is a really nice modern take on the high gain thing. It's definitely very uh, low mid focused and has a cool saturation and a cool grind going on. The addition of the grind and girth controls, which I know came from the Fortin Nodus amp, which this is based on, really, really cool. So a lot of cool features going on for this thing. I'm gonna say cool a few more times. But anyways, if you liked the video, I really appreciate it. If you hit the like button on the way out, consider subscribing to the channel. In the description of this video are all my support links, including my Sweetwater affiliate link, my Patreon, and you can also consider becoming a part of the belligerent amateur community by joining my Facebook group and my Discord server. All that stuff is in the description of the video below. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time.